Hello friends, today we're going to do a palindrome checker. Uh, okay, so I return true if the given string is a palindrome, otherwise return false. A palindrome is a word or sentence that's spelled the same way both forward and backward, ignoring punctuation, case, and spacing. Uh, you'll need to remove all non-alphanumeric characters. That says to me we're going to be doing regex, or regular expressions. Um, punctuation, spaces, and symbols, and turn everything into the same case. So we're going to go to lowercase or to uppercase, but we'll do lowercase in order to check for palindromes. We'll pass strings with varying formats, such as race car, race car, and race car, among others. We'll also pass strings with special symbols. Cool. So we want to remember to use read, search, ask, and we want to write the whole code. Okay, so I should return true. Um, yeah, we run the test and we see. Okay, well, we're returning true right now all the time, but that's just because we're returning true. So how, what would be the first thing we want to do here? Um, I'm going to console.log, and then let's create a variable. Um, I'll call it polished string. Right, and then that'll be equal to the string, and then we'll re replace it somehow. So uh, let's just start with our first one that we're um, passing incorrectly, not a pound drum. This should be false rather than true. Oops, we'll pass it in here. Okay, so right now we're passing the string into the palindrome checker and we're setting polish string equal to here. Now, what we need to do here is uh, clean up the spaces in order to have a, a thing. So um, first thing we can do is say um, replace and then we put in a regular expression of um, maybe, is it white space? We'll make it global and replace them with, uh, with an empty space. Maybe W. Yeah, so that W gets rid of the white spaces, right? We'll add a plus there so that if there's double, if there's any time where there's two spaces, we'll um, adjust for that. And then, um, okay, cool. So now we have this string lowered down. Um, so what we could do is say, um, let the reverse string, the reversed string, make it equal to the Paul the string dot here and we'll console log the reverse string just so you can see how it's going uh, dot split and we'll divide it by spaces so now it's individual like this and now we can use the array method of reverse um, and now we've reversed this I'm just gonna expand this so it's easier to see um, so not a palindrome n o t not a pal it palindrome. So we've got it reversed, and now we can just join it together using a that one. And so now is the reversed string. We now this is uh, the reversed string, and this is the polished string. Are those equal? So we could say polished string is equal to the reverse string. This is false, right? Okay, cool. So now we have a conditional statement of polished string is equal to reverse string. So what we can do is say if polish string is oh not equal to the reverse string, then we return false. And uh, let's let's make this equal to the result, and then console log the result. Cool. So now we're getting false on this one, and it should return false. So we're probably going to pass the test here. Okay, great. But now we're not passing this one with the underscore i. So what's going on here? Um, oh, so this is not equal to that, but the thing is we're um, not addressing underscores. So we could just throw in here, if we wanted to just solve this one, we can just throw in here, uh, this is the or regular expression, right? So white spaces or underscores. And now our polished string and our reverse string don't have the underscore in there. And so now we're returning true again here. Here we've got our console log and we're returning true. So if we run the tests, this should pass here. Okay, cool. So now the next problem is we've got this one. This is a long palindrome, a man, a plan, a canal, and that's the Panama. If we pass this into here, what's happening? Okay, so if I look at this one, which is the reversed string, actually, I think we should have these backwards, right? So a man, a plan, a canal. So the polished string is getting passed in, but it's all lowercase. It needs to be either all lowercase or uppercase. 
So for the polish string, we should set this so that it would say dot, uh, what we could do to uppercase. And then, okay, this one returns, and now we're returning true. Um, yeah, the, the, we're, console, we're logging out the result, and that's turning out to be true, and that's what we need here. Uh, I actually like to lowercase because I don't like the capital letters. But here, what we're doing is when we're cleaning up the string, we're just taking everything to lowercase. And then that way, when we reverse it, we're reversing a string that already has everything in lowercase. And so that handles that situation. Uh, let's run the test. Oh, cool. So that did it all. Now, maybe there's some other ones. Like, what happens if you throw, like, a star in here? Okay, cool. So, yeah, the, um, the uh, W is taking care of the, that situation as well. Um, my guess is that if you had double underscore here, it w there would be a problem. No, it seems to be handling that as well. Hmm, cool. Okay, cool. So, yeah, um, how can we refactor this? Well, we don't need the console log in there when we have a complete one. Um, another thing that we could do is make this a single line um, if statement, right? That would make it uh, true. We can run the tests. And that passes. Okay, cool. Um, this if statements can actually, these if else statements can actually be put down into a single line. So we could get rid of the return and say, um, this is like a ES6 um, a result. You can actually put it into a single line statement like this, and that's the exact same thing. And so this is a single line if statement. You say return and then the conditional statement. And then it's basically like if true, then return false. And if not true, then return true. So we could actually make this guy, um, we could switch this around and make it so if uh, the polish string is reverse, is equal to the reverse string, then we return true. Otherwise, we return false. And that might just be a little bit more of a way to refactor this. Um, but yeah, this is uh, a solution, one of many. There's a million ways to do this, probably. You could, instead of using the reverse and splitting it into an array and then joining it as a string, you could use a forward uh, state loop and go backwards through the thing and um, only calculate the uh, letters that you care about. There's a hundred ways of doing this. I just think that this way is kind of the most straightforward. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and we'll see you in the next one.